Historic federal standards for drinking water just announced today. It sets guidelines for PFAS, or forever chemicals, which would help to protect about 100 million people from exposure to these potentially cancer-causing substances. It's an issue first raised years ago right here in Western Mass. And Western Mass News reporter Reagan Logri joins us live in studio after getting answers. Reagan, how will this impact here in Massachusetts? Yeah, Abby and Chris, as we know, there was a huge issue of PFAS exposure in Westfield a few years back due to contamination of groundwater from a firefighting foam used at Barnes Air National Guard Base. And since then, Massachusetts has become a leader in developing standards for safe drinking water. And one advocate I spoke to says these new federal, federal regulations will make a difference. PFAS are dangerous chemicals found in a lot of our daily items, from some nonstick pans to various food and even drinking water. A huge contributor of these chemicals is military bases across the country due to the chemicals in the foam used to put out fuel fires. When it soaks into the ground, it eventually finds its way into water supplies. And they're called forever chemicals for a reason. It can take more than a thousand years to break down PFAS. These chemicals have been linked to various health problems, including liver damage, thyroid disease, and even cancer. That we've had neighbors with different cancers, uh, immune system problems. Um, there's been breast cancer, bladder cancer. It, it's it's affected a lot of people. On Wednesday, the Biden administration announced an additional billion dollars to help every state and territory fund PFAS detection and treatment systems to meet the new standards. Quite frankly, I think it's about time that the federal government has kind of waded into clean water and PFAS issues, right? Like PFAS that go by the name of forever chemicals really are widespread and some might say almost ubiquitous, right? And, and no one has to tell anybody from Westfield about the role of PFAS, obviously with everything that's gone over here for the years. State Senator John Vilas represents both Hamden and Hampshire counties in Massachusetts. However, he's also a Westfield resident himself. And he remembers firsthand the impact PFAS chemicals has had on his community. Senator Vilas tells Western Mass News, Massachusetts has been a leader in the call for regulations on these forever chemicals. And on Wednesday, Western Mass News spoke with one of those leaders who started the charge right in her living room, located just down the hill from Barnes Air National Guard Base in Westfield. When we found out uh, that our water had been contaminated with PFAS for decades, and we didn't think that our government was doing enough about it, so we got together to advocate for ourselves. And that's how Westfield residents advocating for themselves or Raft came to be. And thanks to groups like Raft, Massachusetts has had regulations in place since 2018. Meanwhile, most states across the U.S. have not. And Kristen Mello tells us these federal regulations will help to close the gap. Mello also tells us this federal focus will help strengthen regulations here in Massachusetts. Uh, the Department of Defense, uh, which is, you know, the major Deep, the major PFAS contamination source in Westfield, uh, previously they only had to clean up to EPA limits and then only if you went to court would they meet state limits for your drinking water standards and your groundwater standards. So with federal limits going across the board, DOD will have to meet them everywhere and everyone will be treated the same. A grant to conduct local health surveys on those who may have been impacted by PFAS was awarded this year, and Mello tells me they expect the website to be up and running by June. Reporting live in studio, Reagan Locri for Western Mass News.